Welcome to another Spotlight Photographic webinar tutorial video. Today we'll be talking about the Extreme Team PSD templates. These are brand new templates uh, built for you to be able to take individual shots of every single player on the team and then construct an actual team photo. So to get started we're going to do a little side work before we get into Photoshop. Um, the first thing that we have to do is of course you shoot the photos. Uh, these photos were all shot on green screen as you can see here and what we've done is a couple things um, the first is you want to have a full body shot they don't necessarily need to have uh, shoes on uh, but we do definitely need down to their socks so I always say you know full body that way uh, there's no uh, no no error in there uh, when we start putting the team together the other thing is, is you want to do is make sure that you have your team all in the same proportion just like if they were standing next to each other so if you've got a really big guy standing next to a small guy their heads and their bodies should be uh, the same as if they were standing next to each other now to do that there's a couple things that you can do at the shoot uh, the first thing is you want to have your camera on a tripod it does not move and the lens does not move meaning it does not zoom in or zoom out for each player that comes up uh, the next thing is uh, as a safeguard what we've done is I've had them place uh, these orange cones to the right and the left of the player now what that does is it gives the player a specific spot that they are to stand that is between those two cones by doing that your camera doesn't move your lens doesn't move and your subject doesn't move that way pretty much all they're doing is walking in front of the camera standing on the spot you take the photo and you repeat that for every single person now it's not a perfect world so it's very possible that in, if you don't have a fixed lens uh, that you may accidentally zoom in or out if, especially if you're taking other pictures along with the picture that you're going to use for the team photo now all we have to do at this point is run this through a green screen software and have them exported as PNG files. Now we've already done that, um, but before we did that, I went through and renamed every single file to whatever the jersey number was. And what this does is it gets them in order. If you didn't shoot them in order, it at least gets them in order. So that when we drag them into the team photo, we can arrange them in number sequence. And all the way down at the bottom, you can see that I've renamed the coaches C1, C2, C3, and onwards. If you have cheerleaders, again, name them so they're all grouped together. So what we did is we ran them through a green screen software, and now we have the extracted images. Now, if you're going to have them extracted through an extraction company or extraction service, uh, like we have on our website, spotlightphotographics.com, uh, you'll get them back, and at that point they would still be PNG files with no background so at this point what we're going to do is let's go ahead and drag this away I'm going to open up the template we're going to be using the equalizer template today uh, all of the templates you can change the, the colors on uh, change the text uh, as you can see here the template comes in blank uh, you have different colors that you can change the different text and then this spot right here is going to be where we're going to put the the team logo if you don't have a team logo you can use this area for whatever you'd like some people uh, type the mascot name down here but uh, it's pretty much all, all very simple first thing we're going to do is take our marquee tool our selection tool and we're going to draw a area that we think the team possibly won't be any larger than so for example the individual shouldn't take up more than this space we always go a little bit bigger obviously the players are going to be smaller than this but this is the amount of size that we're looking at so we're going to highlight that make sure that you're on the background layer the black background and we're just going to copy it so I'm gonna hit control C for copy and then control N for new and that's going to open up a new window and it's already going to be formatted for that area that you'd selected and we're gonna say okay and now we have our uh, first stage of bringing our, t our photos in so what we're going to do is just highlight all of the photos and we're going to drag it in and by hitting enter it's going to place each photo now as you can see as they're coming in obviously the camera did move so it's a good thing that we have our cones because after we place all of our images in here we will then uh, check our sizes 
Now, if you don't have any problems with your sizes, then you wouldn't have to do this next step. But uh, with the cones, it definitely helps us make sure that everybody's the same spot. Um, this does probably take about as much time to do this than it does actually putting the team photo together. But it's very important that you have all of your heads the right size uh, and all your bodies the, the size in which they're supposed to be um, to make sure that the team photo does come out good. So I'm going to actually pause the recording while I finish placing all of these because there is a good number of players and we'll be back back in just a second. Okay, we're back and I'm about done putting all of the images into this little template we've got going on here. Just about done with all the coaches. There we go. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select all of the layers and we're just going to fill up our, our template here if they came in smaller. If they came in full size then you don't have to worry about this step but we're just going to go ahead and enlarge them right now to fill up our area so that they're not too small when we bring them into our team template. Now like I said before all of these cones are obviously not in the same position so that means we're going to have to do a little bit more work to make sure uh, that we have everybody in the same spot. It doesn't mean that they were shot uh, zoomed in or zoomed out it just means that the camera may have uh, moved up or down or left or right depending on the, the player or uh, depending on the photographer at that time. So what we're going to do and this is a little trick I've done um, in the past is we're going to go ahead and just select one of the layers And what I did to do that, by the way, is I held down Alt and hit the little eye here, and it only s it deselected all of them except for that one layer. So Alt and then click on the eye on the layers palette. So we're going to start with our head coach. I'm just going to center him up a little bit here, and I'm going to drag down some guides from our ruler. And now to do that, you just click and drag on the ruler. It's going to bring a guide down to the top of the cone, to the left, to the bottom of the cone and then to the left and the right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to go down the list and just move and place those cones all in one spot. And as you can see so far, we're not having any problems. They're all fitting. If you come across one that's not, all you have to do is just resize that one layer to make sure that it fits inside that cone just right. I'm going to zoom in on that cone just a little bit so we can get a better look at what I'm doing here. And we're just going down and moving the cones. This is going to help us in, a, in another spot here in a second when we go ahead and get rid of all the cones. That way they're all in the same spot and we can easily delete all of the cones on the layers. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this right now again, and I'll be right back when I get close to the end of d moving the cones. Okay, so I'm almost done getting all of the cones and spots. It took me maybe five minutes to do that, to go all the way down the line. Obviously, bigger teams will take longer, l shorter teams will take less time. Uh, so I'm going to zoom back out here. And we're going to go ahead and turn on all of the layers again. And what I'm going to do here is actually just hold down, click and hold down, and then just drag right up the list. And it's going to bring those all back up again. All right, so now we can see them all in the same spot. I'm going to select them and get everybody in the same headspace. Looks like i got to shrink them down just a little bit. And then once we get this transformed, we're going to go ahead and delete all of the cones out of the way. That way we bring in only the players and the coaches when we get to the team photo. So it's almost done with its transformation. There we go. Now everybody's heads are in the spot. And at this point in CS5 and above, it, they come in as uh, smart objects, so we need to go ahead and turn them into regular images so that we can uh, edit them and delete the stuff that we need to delete. So as they're all highlighted, I'm just going to right click on the layers over here and say rasterize layers. 
and now we can take care of business. At this point I'm going to go ahead and use my selection tool and I'm going to just go around the outside of everybody and just select the group. We're going to go ahead and inverse that selection and then we're just going to go down the list starting with the top layer click on the layer click delete and we're just going to go all the way down the list and just keep hitting delete every time we click on a layer and as you can see all of the cones and anything else is starting to go away and we'll just continue that all the way down the list now if we had tried to do this first as you saw before the cones were all over the place so you would have had to go in and move every single layer and every single cone uh, anyway so by doing the sizing the cones and making sure they were all good at the first point it's uh, skipped what you would have had to do to get rid of the cones and move them all in the same spot almost done all right now we are done doing that now you've got some stuff outside of here when we zoomed it in there's some stuff some um, giblets as you say uh, around the corner so we're going to get rid of them and all we're going to do is use the crop tool uh, it's going to be unconstrained which is going to just use the same format that we have here and we're going ahead and just crop the image and you can see right up here all of this stuff that you see on the outside edge here when you drug the the images over on the team photo that would have come with them so we want to just go ahead and get rid of them and we can do that all at once and now it's all gone now there was one little bit up here on this one layer looks like the background was a little low so we're just going to erase erase that stuff alright now we're ready to go at this point you can do um, what you normally do when you set up a team photo count your numbers of players figure out how, who you have to work with and say I need this many in this row this many in that row and this many in that row um, just for time's sake I am just gonna start grabbing people so we're gonna go down to the bottom of our list actually we're gonna grab our coaches first because we know we want them in the front and we're just gonna go ahead and grab select those layers on the left on the right there grab them over and drag them onto the template and to deselect that all right now we're just going to start building our team now if you click auto select up here it's going to automatically every time you click on someone just move them so I'm just going to move these guys and spread them out and I know this guy right here is my head coach so I'm going to make sure he's in the middle so I'm just going to try to get as many as we can even Looks like it's not going to be an even middle, so he's going to just be as close to the middle as I can get him. And just make sure everybody's heads are in the same spot. Now, if you want, you can have everybody um, to the point where everybody's the height that they were going to be, but you get a much nicer looking photo if you just put all of the heads in one spot. Remember we've already sized them so that we can make sure their bodies are the right size to compared to each other, but the, the heads, it just looks better when the heads are all in the same position. Now before I go any farther, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors on all of my layers and then I'm going to flatten this background and I'll show you why I do that. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this blue, so we're going to come down to the background color layer double click on color overlay and I've already got the blue in my palette over here that I want to use and we just hit OK and OK and then we're gonna change the top color bar also to blue so that it works out good and change the center bottom color same thing clicking on color overlay and clicking on the color that we want and then these bottom bars here again color overlay and clicking on them now all of the background images there's a lot of different layers there from the ground texture layer it's going to be right underneath the center top color bar if you grab that layer and select all the way down to your background 
and then hit Control E. That's going that's going to flatten that background down. And then at this point, when we have auto select done, we can actually grab groups and it's not going to grab those that background layer there. Now, to get it behind everything, I'm going to do a control shift bracket and that's going to drop everybody back behind everything. So, we're going to get started that way. Now, you can at this point count your layers or count your spaces just like you would in a normal team photo. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots right there. So I'm going to go back to my images. Let's go down to where number one is and we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to go ahead and drag those over now. Again, hitting the control shift bracket, it's just going to put them behind the coaches and we're going to just start dragging the first guy over and as you can see because you have all your layers numbered they come in in the order that they were shot or that you want them in, in the, anyway and we're just going to continue that over there just making everybody where you want them and then again we count again one two three four five six seven and because there's so many I'm gonna actually do an outer row so we're gonna add two more so instead of seven it's gonna be eight and nine so go back over here go back to where we left off and we'll count nine one two three four five six seven eight nine go ahead and turn off auto select before you drag because if you don't it's gonna just grab the first person that was there grab those guys bring them over to our template again control shift left bracket and we'll just put the guys over here return on auto select and then start dragging over I'm gonna zoom this in a little bit more here and I'm just trying to make sure that I put the numbers all in the same spots all the way down. Okay, so now we've got those guys here, so we're going back to our spots again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turning off auto select and dragging it in. So at this point, it's just pretty much rinse and repeat all the way across the template until you get everybody to where you want them to be and we'll come back in just a minute and show you what the next step would be once you get all your players in okay so we're back we're about finished I'm just moving over the last row and as you can see down at the bottom I actually had to add two of the players down there to make my numbers even sometimes uh, if you don't do the math ahead of time you're gonna have to Ha add more people than just the coaches in the bottom but now we've got everybody to where we want them and you can go through and do some fine tuning at this point and make sure you know if somebody doesn't look right you can move them around and and adjust all the positions and everything but at this point we've got our team photo set all on the photo and we can grab all of them at this point and we can go ahead and enlarge them a little bit if we want to bring them up a little more to fill that area the way we want it and then the last little piece is sometimes you've got some feet coming out down here all I do is take the selection tool just come down across the bottom and then just select those people and go ahead and delete their feet at this point okay now all we have to do is change the name on the template and we're gonna be first coast and we'll just fit that in there and then this line here will put high school varsity football now if you have your team logo you can bring it in and put it right here which we do got that logo right here and we'll just drag and drop it move it up to the top layer and now all we have to do is save it as a JPEG 
and you have a completed team photo better than you would have had on photo day because you would have had to have a lot of risers to be able to do that kind of a shot that way you can have everybody good sized everybody's lighted the exact same way you don't have shadow issues perfect every single time again this was a webinar for the extreme teams PSD templates you can find those on our website spotlightphotographics.com and if you go to our website at spotlightphotographics.com you will just click on templates and you can find those in the new category spotlight photographics team photo templates and here they are right here right now for a limited time they are on sale for hundred dollars off the first twenty people that purchase will get that price and then it will go back up to full price so if you haven't gotten these templates yet please go and order them now there are ten different templates th to choose from all different types of sports and again they are all color coordinated you can change the colors on the bars and, and most of the backgrounds thanks again for joining us for another spotlight photographics webinar tutorial and we look forward to seeing you again.